Welcome to our demonstration on creating a data center, creating a cluster, and adding hosts using the vSphere web client. Begin by logging into the vSphere web client. Here, we see an empty inventory with no data centers, no clusters, and no hosts. First, we'll create a data center. To do so, we click the Create a New Data Center icon from the Data Center view and name it Data Center 01. Next, we select the vCenter server where we want to create the data center. Here we see a single vCenter server. We select it and then click OK, and the Data Center 01 is created. Next, we create a cluster inside the Data Center 01. Clusters allow us to group similar hosts together in order to provide high availability for VMs using VMware HA and to dynamically distribute VM workloads across hosts using the Distributed Resource Scheduler, or DRS. To create a cluster, we go to the Clusters view, select the Create a New Cluster icon, and name the cluster as Cluster01. Then, we browse the location where we want to create the cluster. Let's create the cluster inside Data Center 01. We have the options to turn on HA and DRS when we create the cluster. However, we have chosen not to enable HA or DRS at this time, and will enable them later. Click OK, and we see Cluster 01 is created. Now, we'll add a host to the cluster. For this, we go to the Host tab, click the Add a Host icon, and specify the host name or IP address of the host. Note, in either case, be sure to ensure that the host has been added in the DNS and is fully resolvable with both a forward and reverse lookup record. When selecting the location, we choose Cluster01 inside the Data Center01. Next, we provide the username and password of the ESXi host that we set during the ESXi installation. Now, we verify the SHA1 thumbprint, the host name, and the vendor information. We accept the other default options and click Finish. We can monitor the progress in the Recent Tasks column on the right. Here we see that the first host has been added to the cluster. We can repeat these steps to add additional hosts to the cluster, which includes adding the host name, specifying the location, providing the username and password of the vSphere host, verifying the SHA1 thumbprint, accepting the default options, and clicking Finish. This concludes our demonstration on creating a data center, creating a cluster, and adding hosts using the vSphere web client. Thank you.